I was come I was called to come and program this vehicle. This is Ford Focus 2012 blank TCM module. And uh, I used my uh, the MVCI V100 to do the programming. I used it as a J box to do the, the programming. Before I tried programming it from the programmable module and it wasn't going through. So for the MVCI 100, uh, 100 you, the one that comes with the Mazi 906 BT, the black one, the small one, you can use it as a J box and the protocol works with it. So I used it as a J box to do the online programming for the blank TC. So you select the programmable module installation and you go to the PCM when you go to PCM it will install the latest calibration for the PCM and also for the TCM and because it is a blank TCM it cannot start the vehicle so I have to do the programming before I can start the vehicle and how the calibration file is reading so here the software communicates with the server to see if the part number is correct or everything is correct the new module is installed already the old one wasn't around so i couldn't draw the data using the mic so this is the best way i can do it to do the online program because it's a blank module so now the software has checked the calibration and it's about to load the calibration data onto the control module to us for the always ask you turn on the ignition turn it off turn it on and turn it off so now it's erasing everything and it's now downloading the TCM program itself onto the TCM. And I was using the MVCI 100 to do it. I will later make a video on it why I used I used that device to do my online programming and why i have confidence in it using it i'll later do a video on it like speaking a, lo a little about the j25 devices and how to get your device or how to, what to check when buying a j25 device and what makes a device a j25 device with a protocol and everything so i'll later make a video on it So it takes a little bit longer because the files, the file that is downloading onto the TCM is quite big, not that much, but it's quite big, and it's also downloading. So whenever you are doing a blank module and you are reprogramming it, it's also program it with the latest calibration that you have or you get. So it will program it with the latest calibration and also program the PCM to the latest calibration also so now it is done to ask me to turn the ignition on click yes and now it has been done and this is the calibration number 
for the TC for the PCM and the TCA, the latest calibration number for them. So now I'll go back and erase all fault code because the TCM went offline and most of the modules will report that they lost communication with it so it will give me a uh, lost communication fault codes and other fault codes so I have to do self test in all the modules and erase all of them so after everything now I can start the car and now the light the P the, the selector the P light that's like the light on the dashboard is now showing TCM is passed, that means the TCM has no fault code in it. So I will erase all the fault code in the system. Then after that, I will risk scan and see the ones that will reappear. That means those are the fault code in the Budu. But for now, I was called to do the programming in the TCM because the car wasn't starting because it's a blank TCM the car wouldn't start so you have to do the programming and now the TCM is not reporting any port so if there is any other port which is not related to the programming then that means it will be a different diagnosis but if there is no fault and everything is okay Then the vehicle is good to go. So maybe later when I do the video explaining the J25 protocols and everything. I will also teach you how to select your J25 device on some softwares like the FJDS and the Honda and Toyota and other softwares that uses the J25 so that you can select them. The PCM is having an EVAP issue a small leak detected it's a very small leak so I'm done with my diagnosing and with my programming so now just call FX thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos and support the channel